Joining me now is Armin Georgian, our International Affairs Editor. Armin, tell us more about these insurgent groups and what exactly are they saying? Yes, yeah, so the, this statement uh, threatening to cooperate with protesters against the junta that was uh, issued by three armed insurgent uh, groups in uh, that come from Myanmar's borderlands. Uh, and they're saying that if the junta doesn't stop its violence, uh, these three groups uh, will fight back uh, and cooperate, although they don't say exactly how uh, they would do that. Uh, but uh, just to put this in context, Annette, so these three groups are uh, among more than two dozen that operate in uh, Myanmar. Uh, so you might say, well, does it really matter, three out of more than 24? Uh, the fact is, though, in the last few weeks, uh, discontent about this coup has been voiced by uh, other rebel groups as well, those with very different aims. Uh, and so uh, this probably is not an isolated sentiment. And in that sense, uh, this statement from uh, these groups, even if it's only three out of many, probably does put some pressure on the uh, on the military rulers. So how worried should the military regime actually be? Well, what, they, what the military has done for a long time, even before the coup, is to pursue a policy of divide and rule, try to co-opt some rebel groups, groups while isolating others, spinning out negotiations for, uh, you know, as, as long as they could. And in a sense, this policy has continued even after the uh, the coup. So, for example, uh, the, the, the junta, they took uh, the Arakan army off the list of terrorist groups, but at the same time, they carried out attacks on uh, another uh, uh, rebel group. So uh, doing something against one and trying to bring another one in. Uh, this is sort of pretty classic, uh, pretty classic uh, tactics. Uh, the question is, though, uh, will that divide and rule policy work this time? Because you have to remember in 2015, there was a national ceasefire agreement signed with 10 rebel groups. They overcame very big differences to come under the same umbrella organization. Uh, and now their spokesperson, the spokesperson person for that coalition is saying that uh, the uh, agreement has actually essentially been breached uh, because of the junta's attacks on one of the groups in that coalition. Uh, so this is going to be a test of unity for that coalition of rebel groups. If they can indeed stick together, uh, then obviously that would be a blow for this junta's attempts to divide and rule, which, as I said, it's still been trying to do uh, over the last few weeks. I think the junta must be uh, banking on this unity breaking down because, as I said, the rebel groups do have these very different identities and different aims. So we'll have to see whether that coalition can really come together and come up with something. Armin Georgian, thank you for that.